Listen, okay, the white rappers that they have uh, hit up like my man MC Search, my man R.A. the Rugged Man, uh, even this dude Ritz, even the Yellow Wolf, they all agreed that this is black music and that technically in their mind, even though they don't want to truly admit it, but they know white people are guests in the house of hip hop and they all said that. All the white people said it. It's the black people who are connected to white people because damn near every one of those black people you name is connected to a white person somewhere that they fuck with in hip hop. Um, all of them are quick to go against the black man's word and say, oh no, this shit is for everybody. But, yes, hip hop is a universal music. Like, but black people created it. You understand what I'm saying? Black people created something that's universal. This is still some black shit though. You understand what I'm telling you? This is still some black shit regardless if it's proliferated all over the world. The English language is spoken all over the world. Does every person who speaks the English language have a right to talk about the affairs of England? Hell fucking no. That makes no fucking sense, okay? That's their affairs. I love this language. This is my native language. But it's truly not my language. I'm a guest to this language. Because it's the English language. Where is England? I'm not in England. I'm in America. And there's plenty of people all around the world that speak English. People that speak Spanish. Are they in Spain? Can they go over and speak uh, and, and go to Spain and say, you know what, I think y'all, since I speak Spanish and I love it and I'm a participant in Spanish speaking uh, culture, I should now be able to go to Spain and, and, and say how the direction of Spain should be run. That's absurd. I know blood. That's absurd. And then to say somebody doesn't own a kind of music. I mean, mariachi music is Mexican music. Polka music is fucking um, Polish music. Um, <clears throat> you know, the Scottish fuck with bagpipes and shit like that. Um, you know, shh, Japanese have anime and shit like that. Like, if I like anime and I can draw anime well, does that mean I can go to fucking Japan and start making fucking uh, policy on anime? No. Can the Wu-Tang Clan go to the true Shaolin Temple and start saying, yo, this is how we're going to start doing these fucking forms now. This is how we're going to fucking start kicking and punching and shit. Get the fuck out of there. That sounds fucking ridiculous. You're a guest. Wu-Tang would be a guest at the Shaolin Temple just like white people are a guest in hip-hop. And what the fuck's wrong with being a guest? You have to be a guest at the fucking Hilton or the fucking Bogota or the W or some shit like that. Why you can't be a guest in my house? Like, like, why is that such a bad thing to be? You know what I mean? It's because your, your white entitlement of feeling like you have to own every fucking thing is what's getting in the way right now. Like, being a participant, participant doesn't make you an owner. And that's just the fucking bottom line, and you just gonna have to deal with it, bro. You know what I mean? The truth hurts, man. The truth hurts. Well, I hate to say this on your show, but you've been a long, good friend of mine. I have to admit, I don't want to be stereotypical, but... Yes, he was 100% Negro, and I don't... I hope you invite me back here. I, I, I love your people. I, I've done so much for you, but it's a shame. I, 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 Where you at? All right. Ladies and gentlemen, we're bringing them on right now. Answer the hard questions. Be lad where you at? All right, all right, man. Lord Jamar, got me. What's up? Ah, I see you're the the, the, the the disembodied voice that you usually are, huh? Ah, uh, nah, man. I can't get on camera. I, I, yeah. I've been doing this for a long time, about ten years. I'm not gonna get on camera. A lot of people, a, a lot of people ask me, why don't why don't I get a camera? It's not gonna happen. I just rather you guys do the interviews and I just stay off the camera. But uh, what's up? 
How you doing? Nice, you know, nice to be on your show. Yeah. So, uh, what's all this shit, man? Like, you're on some bullshit right now for not uh, apologizing to the minister. Like, like, what's the purpose of your disrespect towards towards the towards the towards the people that basically uh, made you a millionaire? What's that all about? Listen, I, I listen. I, I looked at I looked at the, at, the, at, the, at what I did. I made a statement. I made a statement that I made a mistake. I already made a mistake. I want to move on. I, I'm not going to let people try to make it seem like they're not going to bully me into uh, uh, apologizing. I, I, I made a mistake, and I said it. I made a statement. I said, I made a mistake. I misquoted the minister, and, and that was it. I mean, I don't know what the problem is. I mean, I've done it. I even asked to sit down, not to, and I even said that the, 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 the FOI or the nation, they could use their cameras and use it for their own uh, footage. I didn't say come on my thing just to get to get ratings and that. I didn't say that. So I've done my part. But doesn't doesn't any like journalistic like outlet if they make a mistake and they have to make an attract a retraction or something, don't they usually apologize for the mistake? Don't they usually isn't that I I, I think that protocol? I think uh Lord Jamar, you've been on my show a lot of times. You know, I'm a man, I'm gonna stand for what I believe in. And I, 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 I think that my, my statement was good enough. You know, I'm not, I just feel like I'm being bullied. It's more like a bullying thing. I mean, everything I've done, is not good enough. I've even talked, they wanted to bring a representative to sit down and talk to me. I said, I would rather personally, or even if it's a phone call to apologize to the minister and they refuse that. So what am I supposed to do? And I said, I don't need you to come on the show. I'm not trying to clout chase. What I'm trying to do is I want to apologize as a man and apologize to you. You understand? So I, I don't even understand, but they've refused it. So I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna stand with what I believe in. I mean, I understand if you guys don't agree with me, that's fine. That's fine. I mean, you know, it is what it is. It is what it is, man. It's what we don't agree with you. And so we're gonna stand with our people. You stand with your people, and um, that'll be that. Uh, well, all right. I mean, listen, I, I respect you guys. You know, we've hung out a lot a, a few times, me, you, all of us. And I respect you guys as, as what you do. And, you know, we as long as we respect each other, there's no hate. If you never talk to me again or whatever, you know, who knows? But, you know, I respect that. That's why I came on your show right now. All right. You know, it just is what it is. And, uh, you know, I, I mean, I don't know what to say, you know. And I, I tried. I, I, I put my hand out. I tried to uh, make amends. And, uh, you know, they, they didn't want to agree with that. But I don't want to be... Sitting well, here it's not going to be done on your terms, though. See, that's the thing. It's not going to be done on your terms. It's going to be done on our terms. We've decided, no, as a collective, that you need to apologize. And if you don't apologize, you're being canceled by the people. Period. Well, you no, know, it is what it is. I mean, I mean, it is what it is. I mean, I'm doing fine, whether with or without you guys. I mean, you know, it is what it is. But it's not to put anybody down. It's, uh, you know. I, I mean, I just got to keep it going, man. This is this this hasn't happened to me before. You know, I've had disagreements with a lot of people. I had disagreements with Nick Cannon. I've had disagreements with uh, Charlemagne the God, and we're cool now. But it happens, you know. We just as long as we're men about it, you know, it, it is what it is. But all right, I mean, hey, what are you gonna do, uh, Lord Jamar? God, it's nice to be on your show. You know, uh, <laughs> here we are. Yeah. Well, uh, well, I guess that's that, man. Um, you know. It's unfortunate that you that you come to this fucking decision and uh yeah. Don't be a problem for you now. You're gonna see the the, 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 the gradual descent. Um and it's not gonna be pretty and I hope uh, uh uh apology doesn't come too little too late. Uh well all right man, you guys take it easy. All right. Bring God. Fuck all of you. It's fine. <laughs> hey, fuck you, Nick! Fuck y'all! I don't give a fuck about none of you stupid motherfuckers. I don't need another motherfucker chance. You know why? Because I don't give a fuck. I said I don't give a fuck. 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 I don't give a fuck.